Hello, hello, everybody. This is your friendly neighborhood monkey puzzle. And I am once again at my Highland Agricultural Station with the purple butterfly trying to video bomb this video. That's okay. And don't fear, we're not going to do this again today, although I'm dying to because I'm just making so much progress. But I just want to give you a quick update. And we had to start here because cat dog pig duck left us a present <laughs> another anchor <laughs> he's a very weighty fellow leaving these big gifts around so we got another deco craft anchor and a nice sign i know you like them bees so here cat and he left me a stack of steadfast drones so steadfast drones are pretty cool if i press you on them you can see if I cross a Steadfast with a Valiant, I get a Heroic. And a Heroic is good for making Cocoa Comb. And a Cocoa Comb, you can make Cocoa Beans. So that's pretty cool. That could be a constant supply of Cocoa Beans. And there was another arrow. Let's press that. Oh, and it makes Cocoa... Oh, the Steadfast makes Cocoa Comb. So I don't even have to cross that with... The Valiant to make heroic and you can enchant your bee with slow fall and flim flam if you wanted to so that's very cool we will use them to make cocoa and now that I showed you I can get this thing out of my way because <laughs> it was blocking that so thank you cat dog pig duck for that weighty gift I appreciate it and we will definitely put it to good use let's put them Oh, there's no room left in there. I guess I'll just put them back in my AE system for now. And because I've got some bees in there anyway. And we will come back to this. So I thought it's probably time. Took a break from the bees and the trees and everything. Making great progress. Oh yeah, and last time we made the Pneumaticraft drones too. So next episode, I will definitely demonstrate those to you. But I want to get on with some other stuff today right away. So we have time to do all that. And then, yeah, next episode, I'll give you a drone demonstration. We'll set them up to protect the area. Maybe get them building some things. So that's cool. I ran out of time for that last episode. But let's run on back over here to our island center base. And, yeah, I got to do something with those anchors over there at some point, too. I wonder, do we have any rope left in the pack? I know there's some with growth craft. But Growthcraft, once I manage to accomplish the update, Growthcraft is no longer going to be in the pack anymore, which I'm very sad about. So there's this Decocraft rope. I wonder if uh, we could do something like this. And I'll work on this later, but what would happen if I put some rope right here like that? and like that and oh wow they're kind of twisted oh no and like that <laughs> i'll have to fix that but then if i took an anchor and can i break you i guess i can only break you right there yep i want to make this thing held down by the anchors rather than holding up the anchors so i wonder if that's possible oh that's not what i meant to do I wanted to put it on the end of the rope. Let me see. Give me a second. I'll get this hooked up and I'll see if it looks any good. There you go. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. So I'm not going to do that all this episode. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang all the anchors from ropes. And they're going to be holding this thing down and keeping it from flying away. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay, so I'll work on that between episodes. And today, woo, stop floating. Today, I'm going to work on this part of this to-do list. I want to make wyvern armor. And in doing so, I'm going to have to give up my armor jetpack if I want the stuff to work right. And that's cool. I mean, I've definitely used that. I don't like being too OP, and the angel ring is. But at this point, just having to worry about charging up my jetpack is like, all right, that's enough. <laughs> Let's just not worry about that and save myself some time. And to do that, I'm going to have to activate the Division Sigil. And eventually this will lead to the Hardcore End and Awaken Draconium and all this stuff. But I haven't arranged that with Cat Dog yet. I got to do that. But for now, hopefully I didn't miss my timing. 
let's go on over to the Batania Meadow. And hopefully it's before midnight right now. So, oh no, it looks like it might be just the time. So I better get on up here. And where am I going, you ask? Well, I have a very easy kind of cheaty way that I want to deal with the division sigil this time. Because there's all these nasty mobs that are going to appear. And they're going to be extra hard because of the infernal mobs and everything like that. So, oh, this is glowing. So let's go ahead and just do this right now. Let me see. We got a little sheep sheep. Oops. Sorry, sheep. And bam. <laughs> cool. And yeah, so... We got the nasty wicked noise going on and we got all the bad guys going on here and normally what i do is i jump in there and i try to dig some out and maybe get killed and have a bunch of iron golems helping me out and stuff Woo! <laughs> you guys can come on <laughs> it's okay <laughs> but this time i thought hey let's just get on underneath it and just be super unfair about it to the mobs <laughs> and just harvest it like that. I think I saw somebody else do this before. Not maybe exactly like this. I think it might have been Nonsanity. I'm not sure. Uh, if it was you, Nonsanity, thank you for the idea. And yeah, that's just a great way to harvest. Here, let's do that. Woo! <laughs> and I'll be able to... Yeah, you can get one shot on me on your way down, Skeleton. And I'll just be able to get all this. Uh, this what you may call it, Paxel, it does have Silk Touch. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab all this. And then we'll have a nice stack of cursed earth. <laughs> Woo, okay. Got to get him twice. Getting a little bit of lag lately, or a lot of it. We've been working with my ISP to try to solve that. Oh, you guys, you're getting some in on me, even with this, but that's okay. It's better than dying a whole bunch of times trying to do this. So yeah, super simple, super easy, kind of cheap way to do this. Uh, hello! And anyway, I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll go put this division sigil to use. Oh, look at that! <laughs> and he's infernal too, so didn't want to mess with him. Little chicken jockey. Alright, y'all. I'm going to finish gathering up all this cursed earth that we will put to use later <laughs> and I'll see you when I'm done okay so that's about the end of that let's get my enchanting table back oh and just for fun let me see where was it it actually doesn't render in all the time but I was up here and just over this way I saw some uh, cool thing up in the sky. See if I can find it. Ah, there it is. Very cool. So I'm not sure if this is from Recurrent Complex or whatever, but this is just really neat. It's this little thing hanging up in the sky. Some left, something left by some airborne ancient civilization. And it's got this nice chest full of some pretty flowers and cobwebs and a bone <laughs> so i like that very much yeah it's just a nice touch so let me just find my way back i want to show you guys my fun way to get down Woo! <laughs> just press hover at the very last minute okay so let's go back to the main base to the island center okay am i good i'm good and let's go down and put some of the stuff to use. So let's go ahead and make the wyvern armor first. And then I'll worry about the scary part of making the unstable ingots. So we can do any one of these. Let's just go on all the way down here. Here we go. And we'll do... Oh! <laughs> I got a failure saurus. That is funny. I'm actually going to try to keep this one. Oh yeah, he makes the zombie noises. He leaves a nice slime trail. I had in the vat, I was culturing some mammoth embryos. So let's see if we can grab him. Is he, yeah, we can. So we can use him for a slime farm at some point. The Failure Saurus. He's funny. 
Okay, so if we have time left in this episode, I had an idea of getting some more mammoths going. So we'll see if there is time for that. But I've got three in here already. I was going for a fourth, so that's not so bad. <laughs> he made a mess of the place. But yeah, if you break these, uh, oh, well, sometimes anyway, they turn into slime balls. Yeah, so they can be pretty useful. I'll just make a room and I'll have him go around and cover it with slime. Anyway, for the wyvern armor now, let's go ahead and check that out. This is kind of the first tier of armor with uh, Draconic Evolution, and it's pretty good stuff. I think if you have a whole set, I think you're proof against fire. Is that true? Let's pull out our tablet and see what it says. So in the index, we got to find the... Let's just check out the chest plate. Yeah, full set gives total fire immunity. And it's pretty big augmentation on diamond armor. So I'm curious how good it is. And then this is going to help us because when we get the awakened draconium stuff, then when we make the next level of that, I guess these are called the draconic, a uh, full set of this is going to give us flight and there'll be no mining slowdown in the air and we'll still have the fire immunity. But this wyvern stuff is a precursor to that. So we will use this later. And this stuff takes power to use. So let's go ahead. I'll put that away. And I don't need all that dirt anymore either. That can go away. The fences were for if I do the mammoths. So we'll see if that happens. Oh, and I got three stacks and change of the cursed earth. So that's cool. I don't know why I have that. Put that away. Okay, and uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and put the failure Saurus away too. All right, that's probably enough cleanup for now. Thank you, cat dog, for the sign in the chest. <laughs> and let's go ahead and make that. So to make the the wyvern stuff, we're gonna need to do this recipe basically four times with each of the diamond armor inside of it, and it's gonna take these energy cores, which take a draconic core and all this junk around it. And it's going to take a wyvern core, which takes four draconic cores. And if I got this right, I think I'm going to need 20 of these draconic cores. So let's go ahead and do that one. And get a full 20 of these. I almost counted for you guys, but <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. So let's throw that in there. We used up 80 draconium ingots just now, but the draconium ingots, I have 641 left of them. So I think we're still doing pretty good. So let's go ahead and now uh, let's make this. I don't know if I've got the chest plate or not. Actually, I need to make that. So I need four of these. So that's those four. And that used up four of the nether stars. But last I checked, I had a full stack of those. So we're doing okay. And then we need, need, need to make four of these, of the energy core. So this is apparently what holds the power. And I got the number of the Traconic cores just right, so that's cool. So now we should be good to go, as long as we have the diamond armor. So let's see, let's check out diamond. And I don't have any diamond armor. I know I have, oh, I put it all in here, actually. I have a lot. So I wonder... If I could use any of these, does it matter if it's enchanted? Is it going to take that enchantment or not? <laughs> the weatherman just turned the rain off again. That's cool. So I don't know, let's start with that and see if the enchantments get transferred or not. I have a feeling that they won't. So no, they won't. It's, you know, so I'm actually not going to waste the enchantments because... I might use them. I know some of them are, are junk. So let's just make a diamond. Oh, I can just do this quicker like this. So let's just clear that out and make us some diamond stuff. So there are the pants. All right, that, <laughs> that method's not going to work in the ME crafting thing. So we'll just do it like that one at a time. And there's the chest plate. And then, uh, what am I need? I need the boots. Boots. Okay. So we got boots. 
So that should be able to do all of them now. So let's go back to the recipe for the wyvern stuff. We'll do that. And it'll give us that. It'll take that. So that's cool. We got the chest plate. Ooh, we're going to get a lot of fireworks. And the helm. And more fireworks. And the leggings. Oh, yeah. And the boots. Cool. So... <laughs> we got all those things. We got a nice new set of stuff. I wonder what it looks like on us. Let's just look at it for fashion real quick. Oh, wow. It looks totally different on me than it does in the thing. That's kind of cool. Oops. Let me see. Let me get out of there. And, whoa, it's kind of green and scaly. Ooh, ooh. How did I get all the way out here? <laughs> all right. I'm quicker than I think. Interesting. Um, I'm not sure what I think about that. They did make an attempt, though, to make it not just look like a little box, like some of the armor looks like. Huh. Okay. I'll live with it. But we looks like we definitely need to upgrade as soon as possible, because uh, it's not the prettiest armor I've ever seen. And I'm also I'm curious to see if this takes an enchantment. But I probably want to go ahead and do it first with the mana enchanter. That will be more efficient than the way I've done it. So I'm going to wait on that. But I do want to charge it up. And let's make life easy on ourselves and make a wireless charger from Ender I.O. So I'm going to need to make an Ender Resonator. I'll need an Enderman head and the rest of this junk. The Solarium, Silicon, Vibrant Alloy. So let's see if I've got all that. I got an Enderman head. I do. I got one of those. And then we won't need to worry about charging it up when we're ever at the base. Because it will just charge up automatically. So it looks like I need to make some more solarium. And I have I must have silicon. I'll tell you what. I'll just get the rest of these ingredients together. And then... Whoa. I feel faster. Much faster than I used to be. I guess I've used up all my silicon in the silicon press, so I'll get that stuff together, and I'll be right back. All right, I threw everything in there, and it started making before I started recording. But there we go. We're going to get our Ender Resonator. We got our bionic Enderman head, basically. <laughs> we throw that in there. And now we can go ahead and make the wireless charger. And I have definitely... I'll tell you in a second. Let's just go ahead and make this first. So there's that, and oh, I'm missing something. I need to make electrical steel. And that's all that stuff. Silicon, coal, dust, and iron. So let me go ahead and make some more of that, and I will join you again. <laughs> all right, so we got that together. We can go ahead and make the wireless charger. And I could put that a lot of different places. Let me go ahead and put one... I got some power right there. So I think if I put this here, it should hook up to the power. That looks good. And it looks like my stuff is charging up. So that's excellent. And I started to tell you before, is I did notice that this has definitely speeded me up. That's just walking. It's almost hard to deal with it so fast. That's walking and that's sprinting. So we are faster than ever. Mind you, this is also in addition to the Sojourner's Sash. So, but that's pretty fast. And we look incredibly green and scaly. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be something kind of purplish. Anyway, now it's time to make the angel ring. And that's going to be a trick. So the angel ring, we got to make the unstable ingots. That's the whole thing in itself. And I usually make the dragon wings. I think I'm going to make the dragon wings again, just because they're cool. Maybe the golden wings. We'll make the whole set eventually. But for now, let's just go with my old standard, the dragon wings. So this is going to be the nether star in the middle, a little cross of gold ingots, leather, and unstable ingots. And these are iron and diamond like that. Now, this is the thing where you only have a certain amount of time and it will kill you. I always forget what's on top. Iron's on top. So let's get back in there. So this is going to make them like that. This should make us two. Uh, why is that not working? 
I wonder if it only works in a vanilla crafting table nowadays. I know I used to be able to do it in the crafting station. Well, let's go ahead and just throw one of these down and see if that is my problem. What's your problem? Yep, that's it. But I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that everything is ready to go. I'm kind of using these blocks to kind of cordon off my, my little extra spaces there and get real crafty about this crafting here. So we're going to need space for, for that and this. And then we're going to need to go ahead and put this together real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to go for it. And that goes down, that goes there. No, I'm too slow already. I don't want to die. And no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I did it. <laughs> and I think I can put this right up there. And now I can fly. I can fly really fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go outside. Okay. All right, so now we're flying and we're flying really fast. So the combination of the armor and the sash and the angel ring, uh, we are speedy now and we do not need any hydrogen to fly. We can move faster than the world can load. <laughs> so that's really good. So that's a big upgrade. And I'm just going on back down. And I think the angel ring also completes, completely protects you from fall damage. So the trick is getting on top of the blocks I want to be on now. <laughs> so I might be a little too fast for my own good. Um, so that's all that. Actually, I'm not sure how much time we have left. We're probably time is just about up. But because I said I would do it, let's get some mammoths. Like that, and I need some cows too. So let me get. I know. Oop. I know I've got two cows in here. Let me get another safari net. We're gonna need three cows, and that's an empty one. And then we will get ourselves some mammoths. So I think there is still a cow left. Right in here from a failed mammoth experiment in the past. We made a mammoth uh, in the past, but I wasn't close enough to it. And then it is now a wild mammoth. I got to get used to my new wings. Oh, wait. And we didn't look at what they look like on us either. Ooh. Okay. I'll get this down. I thought this would make a good mammoth pen over here by all my pork chop head guys, my ancient warfare dudes here who have been so diligently harvesting wood and sugar cane and wheat and seeds and stuff for me over here. So I need to make a little place uh, for these cows to be. Let me do that real quick and I will bring you back. So I fenced off a pretty sizable area that I think will be okay for these mammoths. At least in the beginning, I can always increase it. I'm going to need to get some jungle wood to <laughs> take care of the floating tree here. But I left a little water pool for them so they can drink and not be thirsty. So let's go ahead and put these cows down here, uh, all three of them. And then each one of them is going to incubate a mammoth embryo. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> There's one for you and one for you and one for you. So I actually might have made this too big because I have to stay within six blocks of them um, when they give birth to the little baby mammoths. <laughs> so <laughs> perhaps I should hold a piece of wheat and keep them, that should work to keep them close to me, right? Yeah, so that will be that. So I just got to hang out for a little while, these cows, until we get our little baby mammoths. So that would be cool. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I've actually been restoring this castle, this, uh, what is it, small fort ruins that comes with recurrent complex. I think it was with recurrent complex. Anyway, it was pretty messed up. I'm not done yet, but I've been slowly trying to figure out how it was supposed to be and putting it back together. Come over here. 
<laughs> so I'm going to hang out with these guys until they're ready. And then they don't actually seem very interested in the wheat. Um, and when something happens, I'll bring you all back. All right. All right, so I made a smaller little fenced-in area just to promote togetherness here. And if I click on them with my Dinopedia, then you can see it tells you exactly how far we're along. So we're two-thirds done, and it hasn't even been that long. So won't be long now, and I'll be bringing you back to see the very cute baby mammoths. All right, she's at 97%, 99. Any second now. Oh, look at there. It's a baby mammoth. Oh, another E. <laughs> they go E. <laughs> Cute. Right on. So we did it. And now they were definitely within six blocks of us. So they are tamed. Unlike the other one, which was permanently wild. Uh, they're tamed. And I don't think we can feed them or anything. I'm not sure. Um, there is this chicken soup stuff that helps dinos grow bigger faster, but I don't know if that works for mammoths or not. And I'm in no particular hurry for them to grow up anyway, because this is probably as cute as they're ever going to be. I don't know what they're going to look like when they're grown up, but I will show you all next time. We've got our little mammoth pen here, and we'll leave them with their surrogate mamas so they don't grow up lonely. Although I'm sure the cows will be a little hard pressed to teach them how to be, how to be real mammoths, <laughs> but they'll do their best. Like we all do our best with this stuff. I think this is pretty safe. It seems unlikely that they could drown in one block of water, but you never know. Anyway, this is not, won't leave it two blocks of water. And yeah, I think that's it y'all. This has been an action packed episode. Oh yeah, we never looked at my wings. So my wings and my kind of weird scaly boxy armor. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Uh, it's pretty powerful. So anyway, yeah, I'm just going to be in here with the mammoths. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next episode. And thank you for watching until the very end. Bye-bye. Oh.